Should have told right. us, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I wrote it. <laughs> Dude, I can't see it. Tell us. <laughs> okay. I saw it. I nice saw nice it. chocolate thing, man. Wow. Dude. Stop okay. stuffing your face. <laughs> 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 I have something. Alright, so I guess we're live again now? Yep. So, ex ex excuse uh, my, myself and viewers, it was all Pav's fault. <laughs> we haven't actually gone anywhere, uh, Pav is just uh, scaring us. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> it's all you, Pav, dang it. Dang it to hell. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna spam a little more. Uh, 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 please give me a moment. Where's the QL Cups channel? Did they kick me from QL Cups? <laughs> oh! Can't be true. Taxi played with oh, randoms. That's a surprise. Who played with randoms? Uh, taxi. Ah. Was that on a host cups or on a... Uh, yeah, yeah, host cup. I don't even know who... when they played. I just get... Uh, comments who who won that one? Uh, taxi won. Two for two zero. Uh, they played the Troubled Waters and Japanese Castles. Ah, yeah. But I don't know. Taxi, the scores right very now, strong so. team now. Yeah. Uh, but they told us that they are playing. So. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I will. Uh, <laughs> well, um, yeah. So if, uh, if if Death Rain takes this map, then that means I can. I can go because I've got friends waiting for me, and they're like, I was like, uh, sorry guys, I've got to, like uh, broadcast this ex electronic sports game, and they're like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> then I, and then I stopped the conversation. <laughs> Actually, I lie. One of them does play Quake Live, but very casually. So, um, yeah. But they understand, you know, supporting uh, the Quake Live community, trying to get it back on its feet. By IOD software, uh, abandoning it like a retarded child. Yeah. My friends don't understand it at all. <laughs> so, I'm all alone. Three, two, <laughs> I we are going live one. in two seconds, so let's follow. Uh, follow. So, let's go. So, he's charging mid, looks like he's gonna have a mid position. That was a beautiful rail there on Exu as he tried to steal the red. Well, this map is going to be a lot more fast paced than uh, any of the previous ones. Yeah. Partially, partially because of its size and uh, partially because of them. Um, it's got lightning guns as well and uh, Trouble Waters didn't have that. So Extra doing, doing some really good pressure there and next yeah. the power up is going to spawn soon so let's let's switch over to... Looks like Exu is going to be fighting for it. Well, he goes down to Vitra and it's not going to be an early spawn. You're right. uh, the power up can spawn anywhere between the first 30 seconds and 60 seconds. Exu does get it on second number 50, so it will respawn at 2 minutes and 50 seconds into the game. And I think he, he should probably wait for medkit, but it looks like he's going to go forward without it. So, uh, Hoylet finally getting to a position where they can be extremely aggressive. Hope Exu can get some assistance here and uh, pull off uh, some really nice damage. Let's take down Vitra there. Devnoff is there, is the one stopping him as well. Vitra comes back with the MG and <laughs> Gauntlet almost gets him. But PB's there as a side distraction. Pushes Devnoff up, let's watch uh, PB. He's got loads of help from his teammates. He's being uh, MG'd, but he does get across. And wow, Hoyle really showed that the first two maps may have just been an, an error on their behalf. 
That was a really good aggressive, good aggressive play from them there. So maybe they, maybe they're gonna they get some additional caps after that. So they could be feeling a, a burst of confidence appearing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay around, stick around on PB. He's got a hundred, hundred stack. He should put, he should do some damage now. He doesn't wanna hack, spend too much time around the sewers where the round spawns. Now, now, extra. <laughs> he actually steals uh, the red armor that um, PB was trying to defend. Not a mistake on PB's uh, behalf at all, because. It's impossible to uh, have full um, surveillance of it. Feature there is getting a flash. Actually, he uses that medkit. He's going to try and sneak out low, but his out there he just zaps his face off. Now Bandit has it, so it's now a death rain that's that's got this power. See uh, what he manages to do. He's got the, that red armor now. He's got the medkit as well. So as soon as the regen stacks him to 200, he's effectively got four over 400 health to play with. And hopefully he won't be playing. He will be seriously trying to get a cap done. He's getting lots of rails on him though, and his regen's gone, so there's no more uh, regenerative uh, powers. And now he's just got an average stack. Of he's just going to retreat. And uh, that rail crypto, I mean, so he doesn't even have his medkit anymore. So uh, still watching Bandit. I think it's a good play there to reserve himself and not and not force himself into a respawn position. So he still has all his weapons and uh, he's still he's still uh, in position for, for the duty he's meant to be carrying out, which is defending Red Armor. Let's see what he managed to do now. So they're playing quite passively. They're, I find a more effective uh, way to play Red Armor is to be is to be a lot more aggressive and actually not spend uh, as much time by it as people might expect. Putting pressure with uh, the the high mid player and the enemy uh, enemy Red Armor t um, player uh, is usually a good way to to make the um, the enemy defender very nervous. Have a look. It's going to switch around. Bandit not doing a great deal. I'm on his app. His app's going to be uh, fighting for this uh, regen. Extra good detect. Let's have a look at. Oh, we got this, uh... So Bandit's got this regen again. Maybe he can make something more of it this time. Don't know if his uh, medkit is spawned. Maybe it is. Or clearly not, because he's not going towards it. You're just going to have to try and get through mid without taking any damage, which can be really hard. He has been spotted though by Exu, dodging some rails excellently. Just needs some teammates around him. He's, every time he's got the regen, he seems to be on his own. And he just gets taken out by Plasma Gun in the end. Whole unit seem uh, pretty excited that not being able to do much of the power up. Well, now Extra's got the flag touch and he's just trying to trick the enemy, but no, Extra knows exactly where he is. Takes him down with that shaft. Don't play there. Alright, let's have a look at... Well, right, you guys are still on Extra. I'll, I'll hang around on Extra. It does go down, so... Uh... Oh, Pav, you've got a uh, follow uh, killer off again. Put follow killer on. Yes, so PB's -P -P got a touch here, he's still got a huge stack. Took a massive amount of damage there, but yeah. uh, somehow Death Rain managed to completely surround him. Yeah. Not really sure how that happened, but wow. So now his up with the touch, he's he's gonna elect not to go for that yellow armor. Take him down by death armor. Uh, Regen is about to spawn, so I'm gonna follow someone heading around middle. I think Bandit's got quite a nice stack, and he has taken the last two regens. Maybe he has a uh, action man at the moment. 
to one second to respawn. He's gonna take it, he's gonna go down, but that shaft has completely ruined him. He's, he's, I was expecting him to have a 200 200 stack by the time he's attacking, but at least he got that red armor again. Lost my Yeah. So uh, here we go. I'm gonna see some action now. He's a, he's attacking through left, which is uh, he hasn't done yet. Nice. And he does get the flag. He has taken hardly any damage at all. So while wow. now he's taking absolutely loads. The sharp plasma gun has every every weapon under the rainbow. That was awesome defending them. I think they're there. They'd, they'd let extra go. Devnov, let's go hand off to Devnov. And they finally managed to kill the army that was attacking. I think they should really sort of secure secure their base before they consider attacking again. Make sure that the, the defender has a, a, a reasonable stack at least. Play more of a mid game now and fo focus on that. PB's handing off his weapon so, so clearly the defender died. <laughs> his app, I don't know what his app is doing there. He got the flag touch, but it, it looks like he's got tricked uh, into thinking that he's coming from the other side. Now Devnov. Devnov, uh, I think he's the defender, but he's really severely un under stack. I don't think Vitro or anything is a defender. And the uh, Hoyne is putting such a great amount of pressure on. I think this is why Devnops are unable to get restacked. Probably why he's died more than the Hoyne defender. And he takes that rail from Exu. Exu trying to attack what was a clear base, but only for a second. Extra hitting some great rails, uh, rockets there. Now Exu has the a regen. He's got the red armor as well. They're always timing it so great. Finally gets out of the water. That medkit is there waiting for him as well, so this could be dangerous. He has got an ideal sack to do damage. He doesn't want to take any though, that's the problem. He manages to find a spot where no one there could attack in the middle. And he does exchange face rockets with Bandit. Oh, the shock of Vitra has absolutely destroyed him. Not ah. able to do anything. Completely denied. But they still got that one cap advantage, so uh, as long as that's lingering, as long as it remains the same, then uh, hoying it. Still in for it. Passing the 10 minutes now. Yeah, so I think uh, Lord Death Rain will be able to retaliate somehow. So I'm watching Bandit going across, hitting some great rockets there on Exu. Tries to rocket jump out, but he just goes straight into Razai. Maybe he didn't have that. He didn't communicate well enough. Uh, the en enemy positions. Razai, Razai is like, haha, sucker. <laughs> no, he's, he's got a, he's got a good stack now, so he can he can defend with ease. And uh, yeah, he's doing a, a great uh, great job getting into mid, sending off a rail, assisting his team so that they can be more offensive. Well, let's go off and see um, PB do with an attack now. Getting that direct rocket on um, Devnov. He's actually got it across the middle and he's got assistance from Razzle. Wow, this is yeah. an excellent cab by PB. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That, that, that face rocket on uh, Devnov uh, just sealed it for him. Now he just needs to stack up a little bit because he is the red armor player, but after that cap, they kind of have to let, let um, Death Rain get the power up. The Exu managing to get it back. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> now, now it's gone back into Death Rain hands. Yeah. Extras with it, and he's gonna he's gonna elect to to attack straight away. He's not gonna wait for any red armor or anything. Nice. Oh, some nice shot on PB, but he was, PB was really stacked. <laughs> So there's a flag touch there by his app, but that goes down quickly. See um, if Bandit is actually doing anything now. No, I'm just uh, skipping through the players. It looks like a death range forced back into a defensive position. Feature there steals the medicate though, this is quite a big move. Now that if they can keep the time on it, 
and uh, they could put themselves in a good position in a couple of minutes' time. So there's still plenty of time for uh, Death Rain to come back here. And they are, they are going to want to get this map, they're like, oh, come on, let's just, let's just win as quickly as we can. I think, um, I imagine uh, was Japanese Castles is the first map whole unit eliminated. And I think that's probably the, the weakest map for them. Impressive. So uh, yeah, they're going to have to really... Definitely very strong. Yeah, so they're really going to have to play their hearts out to get it. Bandit there trying to trick the defender. Going, going to go back to Bandit. And he's actually made it across. He's being MG'd down, but he does get down out of the line of sight, and he does get that first frag uh, for Death Rain. So it's 2 1, and there's still a fairly large amount of time left on this game. <laughs> Here's that managing to take down a bandit. Dold his red. Does take a, a direct there by the defender, but Exu's managing to control that, re that regen pretty well. Fortunately, not enough of his friends are there. Oh, his up! As you see the, the jump by his up. PB's there to assist him. He does get a second PB. Is he going to be able to get the cat back? Oh, yeah, he's got that, that med kit. That was absolutely key. That was so close to being the equalizing uh, cap there for a death rain. He's got the red armor there, so he's actually safe. He just needs the teammates to secure base for a second. And his stack is, is going to do him just fine. And uh, Bandit's got that med kit as well, so it's a cross gap. This is something that Hall Unit can't afford to give away. So I'm gonna go back to PB again, because he's still holding that flag. He's hitting a 60% rail as well. Too bad. He wants to get that home red again. No, he's gonna let his uh, teammate have it. So effectively he's got almost 500 health there, including the medkit. Very fine, didn't take any damage there. I wouldn't be surprised if um, Death Rain use a, a three of three man attacking technique just to get get that um, flag return quicker. So I'm going to switch over now to Bandit. Wow, Bandit's taking a lot of damage. He's only got 100 health and uh, a med kit remaining. The red arm is not up. And I think his base is just totally packed up. Razai needing to hit some shots now. He's getting hit from the other side. He has no med kit anymore. And he wants to hand, o hand off that flag. So Vitra has it. Vitra had even less health though. Yeah. So they're, they're all, all Death Rain are stood in one corner of the map. And Exu's just coming in, taking down everyone. He's actually oh. managed to get the return. PB is absolutely stuck to his balls. <laughs> yeah. They do get it, so it's 3 1 there for, for Hornet. So I, I wasn't expecting that to go so smoothly for them. I thought they might get nervous, but they. Excellent job. PB should really attack now. I, know, I saw that he even took the regen while he had the flag, so Hornet playing so confidently there. Yeah. Despite uh, this being a uh, match point for um, for Death Rain. Well, I think uh, people there took a lot of damage, probably uh, um, gutted they had a railgun out. Because as most of you probably know, if you have a railgun and you want to switch to another weapon no. to attack, it's going to take you a long time. Well, there's some crazy flag passes going on here. Handed off to Razai, which is their defender. And they didn't manage to get a fourth tap out of it. Oh my god. Right, huh? So I think they have secured this map now. They're going to have to make some epic mistakes to let Deathrain get this back now. His up's got another touch. How oh, well, I guess that air rocket on Devnoff, but Vitro is there behind him. Oh, that would have been, uh, that would have been great to watch if he got that cap again. Yeah. So watching extra now, he does touch that flag for a split second before rocket jumping. He's actually got across without being noticed, I think. They know where he is now, and uh, his app's also got the flag. I think he's actually going to wait for the enemy flag out to, to arrive. Oh no, he's just waiting for them to get into the base so he knows they're there. And he can get a feel that the, the mid will be at least fairly clear. 
And it is another cross cap here, so um, pressure's on death rain here at the moment. Let's have a look at their flacco. It's extra, not got a great stack at the moment. There's no medicine there for him either. But Bandit's there with the regen. I think he should have dropped the power up to him. Ah! <laughs> 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 does uh, frag him. I guess it's not a huge loss, it was just fairly comical because um, yeah. now the flag carrier, the flag carrier does get the regen and the red armor, so... That's no it problem. Was, it, it was quite a, hilar a fortunate mistake, if that makes sense. So Extra, he's even in the en back in the enemy base trying to look for that flag carrier. So they're being hyper aggressive now, they're like, god damn it, where's the flag carrier? I'm gonna, I wanna watch... Um, his app, because his app's the, the flat carry for Hall. I'll see how much pressure they actually managed to put on him. Is he lagging? Um, <laughs> could be lagging. I don't know if that's him or me. Yeah, he is lagging. But I think I think that's all for his app. I think he's uh he's there. Um, what is it? I can't remember the word anymore. The warper for Hall unit. Still nice movement. Yeah, like T-Bone for host. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I don't warp, I just have crap pin. <laughs> <laughs> so his app's got that mega shaft coming at him from Vitra. But he's always got a plan B to, to get him out of the base in the wild. Devnoff runs straight into that rocket. So I think yeah, his app's doing such a good job of uh, defending his flag, and his teammates are helping him brilliantly. Hoyner is going to be able to bring it to a uh, to do to, to a map score. I'm just I'm just hoping that uh, despite Hoyner being weak on Japanese castle, I'm really hoping that they it's a close game. Because we haven't actually seen it over time at all. No. Oh well. So we're just coming up to the, the final few seconds now. So I think I think uh, the um, whole unit can relax a bit now. Just for a few minutes, catch their breath. They should now start uh, focusing their minds on uh, what they're going to do in Japanese castles. Nice. And ho man. hopefully this 4-1 uh, map score for them. It's gonna push them forward a bit because this is the biggest um, cap difference we've had all, all match. They've they've dropped the flag though to Extra, but Exu's already got the flag touch again. He's he's gonna, not even gonna get the 25 health bubble. He's like, screw you! I'm gonna deny your cap. I don't want you to catch up with this. <laughs> yeah, that was. <laughs> There's two seconds to go, and he's he's uh, spinning that gauntlet Ooh, wheel wait. in a celebration. So the last map there, I think they they switched Bandit there for um, Ooze. Uh, they switched Ooze for Lander, and now possibly they're doing the same again. And so. I'm gonna restart the stream. Why? Okay, so everyone is restarting the stream. Yeah, okay. told us this time. <laughs>